a magician of the game, Diego Maradona. Let's hope some of the players in the black and gold can take some inspiration from the great man himself. A lot to live up to, but but yeah, let's 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 keep my fingers crossed today. Yeah, no no pressure. <laughs> So as the teams kick off, just a run through of that Aloha team again. Neil Parry, Liam Dick, Scott Taggart, Andy Graham, John Robertson, Stephen Hetherington, Ray Grant, Kevin Colley, Alan Troughton, Innes Murray and up front Liam Buchanan for the visitors today. Sinisalo, Jordan Houston, Aaron Muirhead, Sam Roscoe, Andy Murdoch, Michael Moffat, Bruce Anderson, Luke McCowan, Cammy Smith, Joe Chalmers and Jack Baird. Alan Troughton will take kick off this afternoon for the Wasps. Hetherington whips it in, and Sinisalo drops it, and Liam Dick with the header, but it's blocked and cleared. Kieran, Al again, we were talking about Sinisalo before the match. In his last league outing, Ayr obviously played well against Dundee, but he was a bit flappy as well, so uh, we'll see as, as that progresses. Throughout Looks the like the big switch over. It's a great ball. Mark Kerr was screaming for that to happen. Aloha cleared it well, but it's only going as far as Murduk. Luke McCowan. Gets, beats Dick on the fake shot. Smith on the edge of the box, finds Moffat. Moffat cuts back, has a shot. And it's a good save from Paris. He tips it wide. So dangerous from here. That's what they can do, can't they? Yeah, definitely. It, it, a little bit reminiscent of their, their goal against Dundee. So early, two weeks ago in the league. I think Luke McCowan, a wee bit tricky on the edge of the box. Michael Moffat gets a shot away. How big a difference does Neil Parry make in that lower goal? Such a base, such a presence. Uh, Parry. So looping ball in. Roscoe wins it, puts a cross goal, but it's well cleared. Still bouncing about that box. It's Liam Dick who clears it. It's Smith now at the edge of the box. He fancies a shot, and it's another good save, save. Low down from Parry. Yeah, superb save. I think Air would have been dangerous from some set pieces so far this season. Michael Miller, who we were surprised at not seeing in the starting lineup today, got a double on the opening day yeah. so far yeah. from Alaba, but not that much when it gets to the final third. We'll be hoping here as Murray has a little bit of room at the edge of the box. His shot's blocked. Only as far as Colley. Hetherington now looking for that pass. Finds Murray again. Weaving on the edge of the box. Puts it out to Dick. Dick puts the ball into the middle. It's well cleared, but only as far as Grant, who fancies a pop. And that's right into the hands of Sinisalo. But a chance there for the home side. Yeah, first shot on target. Uh, uh, well shot from Ray Grant. Obviously, we, we see those go flying over the bar quite a lot of times when it when it comes onto the edge of the area. But yeah, well held from Sinisalo as well. And it's well hit, and oh. it's off the underside of the bar. And Aloha get off the hook there. Aloha win the ball back from the throw-in though. Troutons flick through Buchanan. Buchanan it. drives it into the box with his right, and it's fumbled by Sinisalo, but Murray can't get a clean connection on it. Great ball in for Buchanan there. I think he's he's done well to get in that position. Troutons obviously again as pair picking up those positions. Robertson finds Colley. It's fallen to Buchanan, and Buchanan's shot is into the hands of Sinisalo. The ref played advantage there. I don't know if it was the, the right thing to do for Buchanan to shoot because they had a free kick. In Taggart's header is not a good one, and it's Anderson who's put it into Cammy Smith, oh. and Cammy Smith's shot is just wide from about six yards out. What an opportunity from Smith, and somehow he's put it wide. Oh, that came from nothing. Uh, I mean, one long ball, Scott Taggart hasn't really dealt with it as well as he could against Bruce Anderson. One pass later, Cammy Smith's got a great chance uh, and just pulls that wide. Although I could make them pay twice here as Hetherington whips it into the box. And it is cleared by Murdoch. It's a good touch from Anderson. And McCowan bombing forward here on the right. It's a great ball into the box, but it's just too much for Smith. Moffat picks it up at the other end, though. Chalmers with a bit of space at the edge of the box. Finds Smith, gets it back from Smith, drives it across, goal! And it's chested in oh, by Luke McCowan. The linesman has judged it to go over the line. It's a neat bit of play there for Mayor United. And an unconventional finish from McCowan has just passed the line. And it's 1-0 Mayor United. That seemed to happen in slow motion about there, Kieran. I'm just trying to 
process what happened. <laughs> um, Collie slips it in to Murray. Murray from the right hand side goes to look through the back post. Trouton puts it back into a dangerous area to Buchanan. Oh, Has that come off the hand? Barry Cook says no. The attack's still here for Alloa. Hetherington into the box. And a spectacular effort from Liam Dick into the hands of Sinisalo. That's a real claim for a penalty there. It looked like it came off the hand of the United defender. I think we'll be seeing a very slow motion replay of that in the Alloa highlights with probably. Uh, a circle around it to see where it hit a hand there. Grant looks to open up that air defence. He finds Buchanan very well. He drives across oh, goal. Oh, big and chance. Ennis Murray only needed to flick that and he had a great opportunity but it's gone past the face of goal and the score still remains Alawa now air one. It's a, great it's a good ball into the middle of the has come out to Hetherington and drives it back into oh. the box and Andy Graham's header is just wide of the post. That's a huge chance as well. It's maybe not a, an easy chance. Maybe it just does hit off his head, but uh, it's a big chance nonetheless. It's just instinct to flick that towards goal there for the Alawa skipper and unfortunately it's just fizzed past the wrong side of the post for Alawa. Moffat here looking inside to Chalmers. He keeps that going on the right to Muirhead. Finds McCowan inside. Oh. Great back heel from McCowan. Across a goal from Muirhead. And turned home by Bruce Anderson. It's a fantastic goal from Air United. Great bit of trickery there from McCowan with the back heel. And it's 2 0 Air United. Yeah, what a flick from McCowan there. I think he's, he's done superbly. Great finish as well. Instinctive wing one minute and he's just easing out onto the left into the centre picking up the, the areas of space making himself a real nuisance he is, just, he is just 22 I think we, we do tip him quite a lot to, to make that move up to the Premiership I think you can see a couple of clubs in the top tier would probably do well to pick him up many have done it from here to the Premiership that's another long ball that Sam Roscoe will have all day. And here United come forward again. It's this time it's Cammy Smith in behind. He does well to earn a bit of space away from Robertson. Moffat now in a crowd of black and gold shirts, but it's a great one too with Anderson and Moffat drives across oh, goal. Nearly a and second Andy for Murdoch. M Andy Murdoch only needed to just get a wee toe on that, and that was his second of the afternoon. Another great move for Mayor United. I think they, they carved Alaba open a little bit there, probably for one of the well, uh, clearly for the first one of the first times in the match. It's a searching ball and it's Liam Dick whose header is just flicked past the post. Needed a better connection there from Alawa's left back. Yeah, it kinda landed straight on his head and he, he probably should do much better with that one. It's a great ball in from Hetherington into an area that you want it and when you've got that much space in the box you really ought to get one on target there. Taggart goes long but it's another one that Baird will have for a header and McCowan latches on to the loose pass. He skips past Liam Dick superbly, cuts it back inside to Smith. Smith finds his partner once again, dancing about as Luke McCowan on the edge of the area. Neat interchange with Moffat, skips onto his left foot, gives it back to Moffat. And it's kind of bouncing about the edge of the box. Oh. And it's deflected just over the bar. Neat bit of play there for Mayor United. And Searching ball into the box, cleared well from Alawa. Charmos will get another chance to get the ball into the area. And it's right across the face of goal, this time cleared by Graham. It's McCown on the edge of the box and the snapshot just wide. Time left for Alawa to get back into the game, but... An opportunity maybe here for the Wasps as Taggart looks to find a bit of space. Does find Buchanan in the box. He's forced out though, but he'll put it back out to his right back. It's a good ball in the box for Taggart. Trouton's header That's and it. it's looping. And is that across the line? The net definitely moved. The Alwa players claim it. And unlike Air United's opener, the linesman has judged that one not to cross the line. It was well. It was 
looked like it was great accuracy when it left his foot, but like you say, just a little bit too much on it. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a stray elbow there from Cammy Smith. And that's a yellow card there. And that's a second yellow card for Cammy Smith. I think there was a, a resignation of acceptance from, from Mark Kerr as well. I don't think there was too many complaints about the foul. Does it open a door for Aloha? Potentially, as Grant has a snapshot and it's just over the bar and that's very, very close from Raymond Grant. Thompson flicks it on well, finds Buchanan and Buchanan's flick on is into the hands of Sinisalo and much like Aloha's afternoon, it's just not come off in the final third. That was probably the chance, probably just would have been a consolation with time ticking down, but yeah, that was that was another big chance there. Great flick on from Thompson. Benz, but the referee blows full time here at the end of drill. It's a frustrating afternoon for Aloha. They are 2 0 losers to Air United. It was goals from Luke McEwen in the first half and Andy Murdoch in the second half. They had a couple of chances, Aloha, but it just wasn't their day and they have come out on the wrong end of a 2-0 defeat. Chris, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think we were, we were just summing it up there before the final whistle went. I, I think Aloha will, will be frustrated with that. Peter Grant will be very frustrated because Aloha have had a few chances. Things just didn't fall for, for Ennis Murray a couple of times. Things didn't fall for Robert Thompson trying to bundle Sinisalo in the back of the net in the second half there late on, but... Air were, were clinical, really. I think they they were they were much better in the second half, even uh, even though they got their their first goal in the first half. So, I think Air deserves the win. Unfortunately for Alawa, they definitely upped their game in the second half, and there was no reply for a frustrated Alawa side. So it's still no wins on the board for the Wasps. They'll have to look.